Hey everybody, welcome back to another case break. Today we have the much anticipated 2020 diamond icons that we are breaking. This is a $10,000 case of cards. There's only four boxes per case and each box has just one pack of cards in it. Inside that one pack, there are 10 cards. Seven of them are going to be autographs and three of them are going to be relics. And we are going to see some of the greatest players, past and present, coming out of this product tonight. You'll see some Hall of Famers. You're going to see some top rookies. You're going to see some legends as well. So let's take a look at the box as we get started. This is our very first box, and um, just love the design of this box. I actually still have the boxes from last year sitting here in my office. I just love the design so much. We will show you all the corners of the box as people come into the room. We're also going to show you all of the odds right here. You can see that everything, by the way, in this product is numbered out of 25 or less. So all of the cards are low numbered. There's your no purchase necessary information because somebody did ask for that. And then they have um, stuff uh, there, the, the uh, legalese. Babe Ruth, you can see, is in there. We got Hall of Fame stuff right there and so on. So this is the box. This is box number one. We're going to get started. There are a grand total of 40 spots that we have in tonight's break. And um, each person gets one card. So to tell you uh, how we arrived at the spots in the break on Patreon before going live today, several hours ago actually, we did a Patreon only live stream where we did a randomization and I put all 40 people's names into the randomizer and pulled them, well, the random.org pulled them out, and that's how we got these spots. So uh, card number one will go to Jake. And the way we're doing it, Cody, thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate that, Cody. Uh, thank you for the support. We're going to go from top to bottom. Card number one is off the top, and we go down to the bottom. Card number 10 will be the last one. Also, some ground rules to lay. If there are more than 10 cards in the box, sometimes with the higher-end stuff, they will throw you an extra card here or there. If that happens, the 11th card will be randomized amongst the other 10 spots in that box. Cardboard Carolina says, Hope you guys... Uh, Hit a monster. Thank you very much, Cardboard Carolina. With that, let's take it away. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys will check out Cardboard Carolina. Jake, you're up right now. How much was it per pack? It's $2,500 a pack. It's $250 a card. So I know some of you are like, let's get this show on the road. So here we go. Jake, you're the first person up. You get the very first card off the top. And let's just... I feel bad cutting into this box we'll take it nice and slow very very high end box right here box number one jake best of luck to you it's like a magnetic feature on the box there we go diamond icons one big jewel case and there are roughly 10 cards now off the top um, at the outset here, we can tell we don't have a booklet in this one. Sometimes you'll get nice booklets in some of your boxes. We'll put that right in the middle, front and center. All right, Jake, you have the very first card. Here we go. Just try to get this flipped there without revealing any of the cards. All right, there we go. So here we go. Our first card for Jake. It is going to be a... I'm going to use the other spacer to put it down on there. It is a... It's numbered out of 10. So everything's low numbered, which is nice. So Jake, everything's numbered 25 or less. You have, Jake, a Diamond Icons card leading things off on the night. Hopefully it's a good one. It's an Oakland Athletic. That is going to be Mr. October Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson hitting leadoff tonight 
for Jake. Congratulations on that one. A beautiful on-card red ink out of 10. Reggie Jackson leads things off. For Jake, like that one, Faze said that he called that one. Amessa thinks says, wow, drops at midnight, need votes for next week. Uh, thank you very much. Check out Amessa Things' newest series, wow. Eight of ten. Very, very nice start. Reggie Jackson leads things off. We'll show you the back of the card, and then I will get it sleeved up and taken care of. Top loaded. There's the back of the card. You've just received a red ink autograph out of ten. A Mr. October, Reggie Jackson. Very, very nice. Jake, congratulations on that one. We'll take care of that. Flying solo tonight. Heather's uh, working remotely tonight, so she's still here, just um, not with me. So got it all top loaded up for you, Jake. Really nice card right there to lead things off. Reggie Jackson. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. We got over 1,000 live viewers in the chat already. I'm hoping we have some nice big hits tonight. All right, next up. Spot number two is for Brian. Brian, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find in spot number two. Remember, there's seven autographs and also three relics per box. Michael Baseball Cards calling in one of one next. We will see what we can find. Okay, where's my Diamond Icons sticker? We have a nice thick card right there of who is it going to be um let's see tommy's break says hey everyone so excited for this break we're gonna see tommy in here in a little bit tommy thank you very much i really appreciate that it's gonna be a brewer i hope you guys will check out tommy's breaks it's out of five three of five it is former mvp and runner-up last year to cody bellinger christian yelich a very nice hit right there it is a relic auto and it is low numbered out of just five. Three out of five. Alex says, what a patch. And Tyson said, I called that one. David says, beautiful card right there. Christian Yelich. Let's take a look at this one. Very, very nice Christian Yelich. And uh, we'll take a look at the back as well. Now, for those of you that are wondering about the patch, a really cool feature that they do with this is they put a authentication sticker on there and that tells you exactly what game it's from camille thank you very much for the super chat and preston as well preston says don't know if it's been said but the best pool i've seen is a dual booklet trout and griffey jr out of 101 we'll try to top that one tonight i really appreciate the support preston and camille thank you so much if anybody wants to see exactly what happened in this game you can go type mlb authentication into google and type in that sticker number 638 uh, 375 JC, and you can see what Christian Yelich did in that game. If he hit a home run, uh, possibly that, um, obviously that card will be worth a little bit more. So Christian Yelich, MVP right there. We'll have to see how many Hall of Famers and MVPs we get tonight. Uh, I have a feeling it is going to be a lot. Someone just said, what was the buy-in on this? The buy-in was $250 per spot. Um, that's what it costs to buy the case. It's a 10 thousand dollar case and um just just crazy uh crazy expensive all right so brian thank you very much next up is grant in spot number three the third card out of our first box Derek robinson says don't burn your fingers on the fire you'll pull good luck all Derek robinson thank you very much i really appreciate the support hope you guys will check out his channel as we check out our next card it is going to be... Good thing I don't see any redemptions yet. I don't want any redemptions tonight. Uh, redemptions are cool and everything, but I like to see the cards come out. FDC says, hoping to see you pull a nice Nolan Ryan FDC. I hope so as well. I hope you guys will check out FDC. Thank you for the support. We've got a Philadelphia Philly next. It's going to be out of 10. 7 of 10. That is going to be Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt. Another nice one right there. For a second, I got a little bit afraid. I thought Topps is going to push some more Reese Hoskins down our throat. If They already done, have done that with all the Walmart Reese Hoskins special insert sets. I literally thought it was going to be Reese Hoskins when I saw the Phillies uh, helmet right there. But it is a Michael Jack Schmidt, Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt, numbered 7 of 10 for Grant. So, so far we've got... Hall of Famer, MVP, 
and Hall of Famer again. So three for three right now with Diamond Icons. Uh, Lewis says that is a rare Schmidt auto right there. Very nice one right there. Nathan said he guessed it right. Let's take a look at the back of the card. Hopefully we can find some trouts tonight. Sam J says, let's smash that like button, y'all. Go Jabs, go. Sam, thank you very much for the support, and thank you to all 176 of you that have hit that like button. I really appreciate that. There is the back of the card. Michael Jack Schmidt. Love his rookie card, 1973 tops. It's a doozy, and uh, that is a nice one right there for Grant. So to recap for all of you guys that keep coming in here, um, a little bit late, we had Reggie Jackson leading things off. Then we had Christian Yelich auto patch, and now we have Mike Schmidt. So three for three. Grant, I'm sleeving up your Mike Schmidt right now for you. And now we are on for spot number four. This one goes to Gregory. Gregory, um, you're next up. And Lion says, Pete Rose card is coming up. We'll see about that. All right, so here we go. Mike's saying that we're calling, he's calling four one of ones tonight, one in every box. I sure hope so. Let's see what the next card will be. Go ahead and just put that right there. Mess of Things says leftover boxes, use them for Saturday showdown. Mess of Things, this one's completely sold out. Unfortunately, we did have some people that weren't able to get into this break because uh, it's sold out. We have, a, oh, I told you guys. I Well, actually, you didn't, you don't know it yet, but I did a, a toss back Tuesday and I said, we're going to pull Frank Thomas Auto tonight. I said that we're, we're doing 1992 Tops for the Patreon Tossback Tuesday. I feel like this might be Frank Thomas. Am I right? Let's see. This is for Gregory, and it's out of 10. It is Luis Robert. So very nice. One of the top rookies, Luis Robert. I told you at the beginning of the outset of this video that we would have some great top rookies. We would have some Hall of Famers and some stars from this game. And that is a nice silver ink auto of Luis Robert out of 10. You can see a little bit tough to see unless I go zoom in a little bit there. 8 of 10, Luis Robert, silver ink. I really like how the uh, silver ink pops on the card right there with the black and white from the... Um, you know, the card design and also the White Sox logo. Very, very nice one right there. Luis Robert Ashton says, that's some money right there. And uh, Lion Card said, I thought it was Thomas. I thought it was Thomas too, but you know what? James, with a good point, this card right here, Luis Robert out of 10 silver ink is worth more than the Frank Thomas would have been. Uh, very, very nice one right there. Eight of 10. All right, so Gregory, congratulations. Four for four right now with big hits. I'm hoping we don't have any down hits that aren't, you know, that great. But you would expect something that's $10,000 per case to be really, really good. And this is really super high end. This is the highest of the high end that we've done so far this year. Arguably, the only thing higher end than this would be Topps Transcendence, which, you know, is $25,000 for a case. But then you also get to go to a VIP party out in Las Vegas. Robert is up next. That's Bobby Bleeds Blue. So, Triple B cards. Let's see if we can find Toxic Wolf is calling a Jordan Alvarez. And Michael's calling it Ken Griffey Jr. Matt's Baseball Card Break says, Thanks, Jazz, for helping me grow my subscriber count. Matt's Baseball Card Breaks, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out his channel. We've got 1,300 folks in here right now. If you'd like to help his channel grow, please check him out. All right, we're looking for top names such as Hall of Famers, stars from today, and rookies. So Robert Bobby Bleeds Blue, you want a, he wants a Cub. I know that. He is a huge Cubs fan. Let's see if we can find some Cubby Blue. Well, we don't have Cubby Blue, but we do have Dodger Blue coming your way. Brian Thatcher says, thank you, Jabs, for getting me into cards again. Tell Heather she is missed. Brian, thank you very much. Heather's still here um, working remotely tonight from her house, uh, dropping links. And I really appreciate that, Brian. And uh, good luck for, I believe you're going to be up in a little bit. Um, thank you for the kind words. So I see Koufax, I see Lux, I see Kershaw. That's what the guesses that are coming right now. I see Bellinger. All right, so it's going to be a Dodger, and that is going to be one of my favorite Dodgers. You guys probably recognize him now. That is Walker Bueller, a Walker Bueller game-used relic 
auto out of 25 20 of 25 walker bueller and again i love how they put the uh, mlb authentication sticker on there you can go to mlb authentication just google that type in that code there 638-444-jc and see exactly what bueller did hopefully he played in that game maybe it's just a jersey that he was wearing on the bench as you know starting pitchers only throw every fifth day appear in a game every fifth day so he might have not even played in that game uh it's definitely worth checking out and looking up especially uh for bobby since it is his card a nice Walker, Bueller, Shane is rooting hard for a Nolan Ryan. I hope you get a Nolan Ryan. We will see what happens for you. Best of luck to you, Shane, when your spot comes up. Walker, Bueller for Bobby Bleeds Blue. So not a Cub. I know you're probably hoping for like an Andre Dawson or Ryan Sandberg, some legendary Hall of Famer Cub, but still a nice one right there. One of the game's top pitchers. Paydirt Sports Card said, I saw Phil pull one-on-one -on -one Griffey and Trout Auto. Let's hope we can match that tonight. Paydirt, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Let's see what we got now. Sixth spot. Here we go. Chip is here. There he is. He says, let's go. Chip has spot number six, and he also has spot number 40. Collector Kyle says, how's it going? Collector Kyle, I'm doing great. Hopefully you are as well. Bearded Collector with a dollar donation. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Collector Kyle and also Bearded Collector. Heather and Daddy Daughter dropping the links into the chat if you'd like to check out their channels and give them some support. All right, so Chip, here we go. Best of luck to you. All right, so let's put this right on top. We have... A, oh boy, it's a Montreal Expo. I think most of us can probably guess who this is right now. Five of 25 Expo. That's going to be the Vladdy Daddy right there. Vladimir Guerrero Sr., 5 of 25. A really, really nice one right there. They're not going to give you a guy like uh, Cliff Floyd or Curtis Pride or any of those old Expos from the 90s. They're only going to give you the best. So uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., auto right there. Uh, Jeremy could tell by how the way he was holding the bat. Yep, I could as well. Nice hit right there, Vladimir Guerrero and all of these autos are nice on card, so it is another Hall of Famer to add to the list. I don't know if anybody is keeping track with a Hall of Fame counter tonight, but by my count, that is number three. We had Mike Schmidt and Reggie Jackson, and now Vladimir Guerrero Sr., number three. It'd be nice if uh, we hit five Hall of Fame autos per box, or at least five Hall of Fame cards per box. Some of these guys may be future Hall of Famers, such as Christian Yelich. Obviously, he's going to have to do it for many more years before I, like, if his career ended right now, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he is getting on that track if you continue that. So a nice Vladdy Guerrero. Love that card. Congratulations, Chip. That's a good one. And Chip has another spot coming up. In a little while, actually, he's got the last spot of the break. So, Chip, I'm going to get your card all nice and sleeved and top-loaded right there. And Freddie is now up. So, Freddie, best of luck to you in spot number seven of the super high-end break. Doomsday says, I love the Hall of Fame pulls even more. That says, Thad with a donation says, this is such a fun break to watch. A lot of luck to everyone tonight. Eric, my package should arrive this Friday you have an email with the details. Thad, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thad is supplying some cards for a future uh, Mystery Box Monday. And I really appreciate that, man. Uh, I will keep an eye out for that package. Next up, Freddie. Let's see what we can find for you. There's Heather with the link for Collector Kyle. All right, Freddie. Spot number seven. Let's see what we got. Ethan's calling Don Mattingly and Detector is calling... Ted Williams, the Splendid Splinter. Let's see what we have for you. You are going to have a... Let's take a look at it. It's numbered 5 of 25. I think I know who that is. You guys can probably tell as well. He's ranked number 2 on the prospect list, only trailing Wander Franco. That's going to be Gavin Lux right there, rookie auto right there. So we get two of the top rookie autos out of our first box. We had Luis Robert, Silver Ink out of 10, and now a Gavin Lux rookie card 
out of 25. Mobile Twins with the 99 cent super chat. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that. And Dirk Remington says, awesome break. No crashing the internet again. Thank you very much, Dirk and Mobile Twins. Check them out, everybody, if you get a chance to. I know that Daddy, Daughter, and Heather are working on finding their links for you guys. And Kid Collector says, I, too, from IOO, pull some fire from Kid Collector. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Kid Collector. We'll try our best to pull some fire tonight. As we look at the back, Ken says, when do you send out the Patreon packages? We already sent out nine bags, like trash bags worth of them yesterday. So if you're on the 1426 tiers, you should be getting yours soon. All right, so Gavin Lux, spot number seven, but we send them once per month. Working on getting them all out this week. There's Daddy Daughter with Dirk's link. All right, so Freddie, you are in the books with a nice Gavin Luck, Lux Auto. And next up, Manuel. So, Keith, how's it going? Having a great day today. Hopefully you are as well. Did a little bit of swimming. Well, not me, but my kids did. Did some swimming, played some catch, and um, hung out with Heather for a little bit. Now Manuel is up. Let's see what we can do for you, Manuel, in spot number eight. Atticus says, when are you doing 2011 Tops Update? How about next Thursday? We'll do that one um, next week. So, here we go. Manuel, spot number eight. What can we find for you? Noah says, Jazz Walker Bueller threw seven scoreless innings in that jersey that we pulled earlier for Bobby Bleeds Blue. So that is awesome. I was a little worried that they that he was not even going to be um, active in that jersey. Like he probably just sat on the bench. Sometimes that happens with starting pitchers. All right, so Manuel, here we go. Spot number eight. Paydirt says, Eric, I just started my channel. Can I get a shout out? Yes, Paydirt Sports Cards. If you'd like to help them out, we've got 1,500 folks right now. Please check out Paydirt and give them uh, some support and get them started. So here we go. Next hit, I can see Diamond Icons. I can see a Philly. So I doubt they're going to give us two Mike Schmidt cards in the same pack, but you never know. 10 out 25, you can get your guesses in right now as to who this may be. It is going to be, it's not Bryce Harper, it's an older Philly. How about a Steve Carlton? Steve Carlton, Hall of Famer, Steve Carlton, 10 of 25. Very nice. Steve Carlton, 10 of 25. So, Two, uh, Schilling was a good guess, Tyson. Very good guess. But once I saw the eyes, I recognized Carlton right there. Uh, nice on-card auto, Steve Carlton for Manuel. Take a look at the card for a little while. Flip it around. And here is the back of the card. We see some folks aren't up to date um, with the chat. They might have a little delay. Some people still guessing Gavin Lux from about two or three minutes ago. There we go. Steve Carlton. Right there, Bill says, I thought it was John Cruck. That would be something if it was uh, John Cruck. Uh, I, they're not going to put guys that really uh, aren't in the Hall of Fame in this. Uh, if it was a John Cruck, I'd be like, okay. I could see some guys like, um, you know, Roger Clemens, guys that aren't yet in the Hall of Fame but have the numbers that, you know, are eligible. So nice one right there, Manuel. So our fourth Hall of Famer right now from this box. Can we make it five? I think I saw somebody predict five per box. Terry B says, great product. Good luck, everyone. Terry, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Hope you guys will check out Terry's channel as we go to spot number nine for Carl K. And Beardy Collector says, 1,500 folks in the chat. Make sure you hit that like button. Looks like we have 312 of the 1,500 that have done that so far, and I really appreciate that, guys. It looks like two of you just did it right now. So thanks, guys. I appreciate the support. Um, Carl's up right now. Let's see what we can find. Uh, Krasimer is calling a Jason Jombi game use bat. We'll see if that works. Uh, I, I don't know. A Jason Jummy game is bad. It'd be a cool hit, but I would want something a little bit better in this. Let's see what we can find next. Spot number nine. Only two cards left in this box. We have ourselves. It's going to be a Tampa Bay Ray. So I have a feeling this is going to be a former Cy Young Award winner from two years ago. 16 of 25. And it is a Cy Young Award winner from two years ago, 2018 Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. It is a silver ink auto for Carl K. And Matt's baseball card break says, check out my premium box break parody called Tops Intrusive. I handmade every card with a little help from kids because I'm a huge nerd. Matt's baseball card breaks. That sounds funny. Make sure you guys check him out. 
And uh, that's the thing says, is there a pool for the viewer count for the 2011 Tops update break? Well, a mess of things. I would guess one to 2,000 live viewers when we go after the Mike Trout rookie cards. Uh, not this Thursday, but next Thursday for Throwback Thursday. It's going to be pretty fun. So Blake Snell is the hit for Carl. All right, so we have one final card in this box. And if it is, uh, if there's a, a hidden extra card down there, if there's an 11th card, we will random that off amongst these 10. So here we go. Spot number 10. Final one of the box. This one is going to Gary K. Let's see what we can find for Gary K and his the final card of box number one of four. Detector said it's going to be an, an oldie. Michael thinks it's going to be a Derek Jeter. Hey, I hope it's a, a Derek Jeter. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's see. Griffey and we end with a, it's going to be a Yankee, so Derek Jeter could be a possibility. I do see the Yankee logo, and I see it's out of five. One of five, a nice low numbered out of five. Let's see what we have. That is going to be Masahiro Tanaka, and it is the Relic. So I, I guess the last card is always a Relic, so... Pretty nice that we did have three relics, but two of them had autographs on the Masahiro Tanaka, one of five. So it is a nice low number, at least. Unfortunately, they didn't slap an auto on there, which would be pretty awesome. Tony says, what's your feeling on baseball this year? I'm hoping baseball gets started. We really, really need baseball. I'm, and I'm a little nervous that it's not going to happen just because of uh, what the commissioner said the other day. Ripping for Rookies says, enjoying this break. Good luck to everyone ripping for Rookies. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Ripping for Rookies. And um, I also hope we have baseball this year as we're talking about that. Uh, Rob Manfred, if you are out of the loop and didn't read the news, said, I am not confident that we are going to have baseball in 2020. So he said not confident, which uh, kind of makes me a little nervous <clears throat> that he would say that really lowers the expectations for us. I, I really, really hope there's baseball. I think we need it. Willie Brake says, hey, Jabs. Blessings to the family. Let's see some fireworks. Willie Breaks, thank you very much. I, I hope so. We will try. Our first box is done. We had four Hall of Famers come out of it. And now it's time for box number two. So, box number two, this first card. Spot number 11 goes to David, and he's going to get the first card. That's box two, spot one. That's how we broke it down there. All right, David. So, the... Supposedly, the word on the street is the number one card is the best card. We'll see how that works. Out of the last box, we had Reggie Jackson leading things off, so you might have yourself a nice Hall of Fame auto. We'll see if that's the case in our case as well. Saints fan from California is calling a Mike Trout one of one in this case. Well, I would love that. We will see what we can do for you. Tom says it's just... Uh, just means Mookie's back to the Boston Red Sox without playing a game for the Dodgers. So Tom thinks that Betts, who's going to be a free agent after 2020, is just going to head right on back to the Red Sox. It's a possibility. It could happen. All right, so here we go. Box number two. Very, very nice. Let's see what we can find for David. Get this. Check out the uh, inside of the box for those of you that love packaging. It's a magnetic uh, very nice. See that, how it closes up? Cool little feature, magnetic box there. All right, David, you get the first card. Let's see what we can find for you. Just give me a second to carefully remove the jewel case. And we shall see what we have coming your way. I always like to be surprised myself, so I don't like to reveal anything if I um, can help it. So... I do like the uh, whole surprise factor because uh, I like opening packs of cards just as much as you guys like watching them being open. So here we go. Our first card, this one is going to be for David. Best of luck to you. Max, thank you very much. Says You're a great breaker, Jabs. I really appreciate that. All right, so we have, it is a red. It is a Yankee. So back-to-back -back Yankees. Our first Yankee, or our, our I guess... Our Yankee out of the last box was a 
Masahiro Tanaka was one of five. This one's also one of five. I see Judge. I see Jeter being called. And it is going to be A-Rod. So Alex Rodriguez with his 697 home runs or so. Six, I think it was 697. Just came up short of 700 home runs. A nice A-Rod right there. Now, A-Rod is, despite being really, really kind of... Um, at the bottom of baseball, at the end of his playing career, everybody hated A-Rod because of the whole um, PED scandal. He's really kind of come back, um, and he is quite popular once again with his broadcasting gig and everything and dating J-Lo and all that has made him popular with some folks. Some people still won't forgive him for his PED uh, stuff that he went through, but a very nice A-Rod right there and uh, has some of the great stats of all time. So A-Rod, one of five, 3,000 career hit club right there. So A-Rod is for David. Nice one right there to lead things off. Some people, hey, looks like the, hopefully A-Rod's not watching right now because there's some people that uh, do not like him in here. Um, I think, you know, I never, I never hated A-Rod, but I, I wasn't a, a huge fan of his, I guess. I thought he was a great player, though, when he did play. There's a super chat from LA Collection says, "If you give someone, um, if you give someone one nice thing today, how about giving me a zub or sub? Con content for vintage and modern sports collectors. Thank you, Jabs. LA Collection. Thank you very much. If you guys like vintage and also modern, so he's got you covered. LA Collection. Check him out. 1600 of you guys watch right now. If you'd like to head on over there, Heather's got the link right there." Make sure you click on that link to easily find his channel. Hit that subscribe button and then come on back. Uh, Jacob says, I love this channel. Always the best. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Tom A says, it's the anniversary of A-Rod being taken down by Jason Veritek. That's pretty funny. You guys up in Boston, Boston Red Sox fans will remember that one for years to come. So here we go. We have card number two is for Jeffrey M. Let's see what we can find for Jeffrey in our second spot. It is going to be numbered out of 25. Last round, Baseball says that is a pretty nice A-Rod signature. I think if it would have been a dual auto with J-Lo, I would have been excited. Cool break. Last Straps, thank you very much. That would have been interesting if they would have put J-Lo on there as well, but I don't know if um, she would be into signing cards. A mess of things says, do you get bored watching your own vids? A mess of things. No, I'll go back and uh, I totally forget what I pulled Um from old breaks, sometimes I'll go back and check those out. And um, I know that my kids sometimes will put my channel on and watch some of my old breaks as well. So that's out of 25. 10 out of 25. Here we go. Let's see who it is. It is an Astro. So <laughs> Mopo says it's a Jake Marisnik. Jennifer is calling a Bregman. A lot of people calling Altuve. And it is going to be better than all three of those guys. It's your Don Alvarez. Widely regarded as the best rookie in the 2020 class. I like that it is a nice jersey patch. And also, you have his auto on it as well. Your Don Alvarez, and it's numbered 18 of 25. Remember, Jordan Alvarez wasn't up in the big leagues when all the trash can stuff was going on, but, you know, who's to say that he didn't benefit in some um, modification of their system? But still nice one right there. Jordan Alvarez. Cowboy says that's a good-looking card right there. I agree. That's a beautiful-looking card. Just love the uh, love his signature. It's a very, very, very sweet sig for Jordan Alvarez. Trevor says, how much was a spot? 40 cards, $10,000 case. That works out to $250 per spot. This is the highest of the high end that we've had so far this year. Only thing higher end than this is the Transcendent, which is $25,000 a case. And um, I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to buy a case of those. So here we go. Jordan Alvarez is the hit for Jeffrey. Congratulations on that one. That was a nice one for Jeffrey. So spot number two is in the books. We had... No Hall of Famers yet. We had a, a nice uh, Hall of Fame caliber type player in terms of numbers and A-Rod. And then we have the best rookie in the game. Some nice value to Jordan Alvarez autos, especially patch autos like that one. Hanson Sports Car Breaks says, I'm two subscribers away from 200. Thanks, Eric. So if you guys would like to be his number 200, check out Hanson Sports Car. And the Baseball Car Breaks says, are there Altuve game use buzzers in this set? Baseball Car Breaks. I don't think they put any buzzers in there. I could see maybe... um. 
somebody out there, some independent thinker out there could probably put something together like that and probably make a lot of money on something like that, like a game-used relic of um, a trash can or buzzer. I know that Chris Callan is... He made me Allen and Ginter rip cards that literally looked real, but there was like hidden 91 Fleer John Wath and mini card in it. Uh, somebody could definitely do it. Um, there's some people out there really talented in what they do. There's Daddy Daughter with Hanson's break. Let's check out our next spot. This is spot number three of the box. This one's going to PJ Sports Cards. So, PJ, if you're watching live, best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find for you. Hoping for a Hall of Famer or we're hoping for... Um, a nice top rookie card or something like that. So here we go. It is going to be a White Sox player. So right off the bat, it's a rookie White Sox. I think I can guess who this is, rookie White Sox player. I don't think they're going to give you um, anybody other than Luis Robert. And that's who it is. Luis Robert 2 of 25, our second Robert of the break. A very nice one right there. So there's a lot of value to Luis Robert cards, which is nice. Um, at least you're not getting like, uh, I don't want to talk bad about any rookies because they're all great, but I'm, I was going to say, at least it's not like a Sean Murphy or an AJ Puck auto. Those are nice autos, but for this expensive of a break, you would expect only the very, very top rookies, and that is one right there. Shy City says, I want it. Fire emoji. Shy City, thank you very much. Yeah, some nice Luis Robert rookies in this set. We are two for two. Maybe we'll get one in every box. So, PJs, congratulations on the nice Luis Robert. Ryan says that he is a fan of Robert. And, uh, yeah, I think a lot of you guys, if you haven't been, a, uh, if you haven't heard about uh, Robert, yet you will be hearing his name uh, once baseball finally gets started. If it gets started, you might have to wait till next year. We'll see. Hopefully, they can agree on something. Hopefully, Manfred just kind of steps in and says, You know what? This is what we're doing. We're playing X amount of games. This is when you report. And, you know, for the good of the game, just do something. You know, don't sit, don't sit by until it's too late and we can't get baseball at all. So, Aaron, you're up next. Spot number four, box number four. Let's see what we can find right now. All right, so let's get our little diamond icon preview um, paper on the next card. Aaron, spot number four. Let's see. We have a Yankee hit. So our third Yankee hit, we had Massey here at Tanaka already. And then we had A-Rod. Now we'll see what we have. Breakers R Us says, nice pulls, jabs, enjoy it. Almost to 100 subscribers. Breakers R Us, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Breakers R Us and give them some support. And, uh, yeah, get on over there. We'll get the link in there for you shortly. So I'm seeing Matsui. I'm seeing Mattingly. I'm seeing Posada and Judge. And that is going to be a Hideki Matsui. Somebody called it right there. Hideki Matsui, 22 of 25. Uh, yeah, Godzilla, nice player there in the... Early 2000s to mid 2000s with the Yankees. Hideki Matsui out of 25. There's the back of the card. Silver Ink Auto. Nice pop to the signature on that one. 22 of 25. A mess of things says for Jabs Family Epic Moments Bingo. One day you'll pull more than one one of the same out of five card. I I hope so. We we'll see about that. I'm hoping we get some nice. Um, different hits today. Aaron, thank you very much. And a mess of things, make sure you check out his channel. He's posting lots of content now over there. He's also on Instagram, right? Shop Robert. So spot number four is in the books. Uh, box number two. Here we go. Uh, Hitting Dingers says, these are lit cards. And I really like your username, Hitting Dingers. That is a pretty snazzy name. I, I approve. Matt is up right now. Hanson Sports Car Break says, just hit 206. Thanks, Jabs family. So thank you guys for getting Hanson all the way up past 200 and on and then some. Thank you for checking out their channel. So here we go, our next card. Let's see what we can find for you. Let's get that Diamond Icons little icon leading off the next card there. All right, so Matt, you have yourself. It's going to be numbered out of 15. It is a Mets player. 
So I am guess I, I hope it's not a guy like Robin Ventura or Ray Ordonez or Edgardo Alfonso. Kind of uh, that helmet kind of reminds me of the two thousands Met design. Daddy daughter says Heather's coffee fun. Daddy daughter, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I know for sure she will use it. She loves her coffee. And um, we really appreciate your support. Make sure you guys check out Daddy Daughter's channel, everybody. And Left Behind Time says, No Sid Bream Francisco Cabrera dual relics yet. Just kidding, man. Great looking product and enjoying this very entertaining break as always. Left Behind Times, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I would uh, have a tough time calling the Sid Bream and Francisco Cabrera relic as they walked off my pirates in the uh, NLCS there and broke my heart. Here we go. Robbie Alomar is what people are calling. Some people are calling Piazza. It is going to be Robbie Alomar. Nice call right there. If we ever said that one, five of 15. Hall of Famer, Robbie Alomar. So in spot number five, we hit our first Hall of Famer of this particular box. Very nice one right there. Robbie Alomar, not a first ballot Hall of Famer. He actually got in in his second year of eligibility. And Daddy Sasquatch says, where are those reds? And I'm not begging for subscribers. It's more like pleading. Daddy Sasquatch, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out Daddy Sasquatch. He's got a nice channel over there posting content. And Jay Bob and Son says, great break, Jabs. Thank you for doing it. Just FYI to all, Daddy Daughter Car Breaks is having his first live break this Thursday at 7 p.m. Come support if you can. And cheers, everybody. Jay Bob and Sons, thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Daddy Daughter, Jay Bob, and Daddy Sasquatch. Support their channels there. And Mary says, Coffee and Pokemon fun. Thank you very much, Mary. I was like, I'll get this one sleeved up. I see a couple more Super Chats popping up. Last Rouse Baseball says, Hideki Matsui may have been more famous for his collection of 55,000 videos. I won't say what kind of videos as they were a family show. I didn't know that about Matsui. That's very interesting. Uh, thank you for the uh, little aside there. And Corey Leiser says, I'm a member and just received free six packs. Love what you do uh, for everyone that follows your awesome channel. Corey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for your support on Patreon. Glad that the uh, monthly package made it to you. A lot of you will be getting it probably tomorrow if you haven't got it already and you're on that $14 or $16 tier. We sent out a bunch of this. So Mary, Last Raps, and Corey, I really appreciate your support. Send a mess of things. Says, Daily Minute whip, Rips plus Wow, which one Wednesday? You almost maybe I, I can't. Too many W's there. Too much alliteration of that letter. Uh, minute rips for a mess of things. Check them out and which one Wednesday. So I think we're all caught up right now. Lots and lots of comments coming in, trying to stay up to date with all of them. And Ryan is up right now. So Matt, congratulations on your Hall of Fame patch. Auto of Robbie Alomar. Next up is Ryan Page in spot number 16. What can we find for you, Tom? We haven't done your tier yet. Those will be done by the end of the week, hopefully. I'm waiting on some... Uh, boxes that I ordered. So I ran out of wax boxes for this month and have to wait on a couple. All right, let's get this next one down. Okay, so here we go. Ryan, best of luck to you. You are going to have a New York Mets. So back-to-back -back Mets looks like a current hat. It is numbered out of 25, 7 of 25. You guys know who this is. Back-to-back -back Cy Young Award winner, Jacob deGrom, very nice on-card auto. Cy Young, Jacob deGrom, could he make it three? I mean, it's going to be, if they play baseball, it could be someone that you don't expect winning the Cy Young since they're probably only going to get like, I don't know, 10 to 12 starts. Could be a guy you would totally not even uh, expect winning the Cy Young this year if they only play 50 games. Triple B Car Breaks says, I'm 30 away from 250. Thanks for the nice pool, bro. Triple B Car Breaks, I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Triple B and give them some support. Bobby had the nice Walker Bueller hit just a few minutes ago, and Ryan has Jacob DeGrom now in his PC. So, Ryan, thank you very much. Go ahead and get this bad boy sleeved up for you. There's Daddy Daughter with uh, the link there for you guys if you'd like to get to Triple B in the few seconds that it takes me to get the card all situated and protected. All right, so Heather, thanks for dropping the link in there as well for Triple B. All right, so what do we have now for David Harris? Tom with a good point says, if they only play 50 games, you might have a, a uh, closer winning the Cy Young Award. You might have some lights out closer with like an 0.50 or run average with like uh, 20 saves winning that. That's a great point. David Harris is up right now in spot number 17. Let's see what we can find for you, David. Hoping for a big-time hit right there. I think that David had 
if I'm not mistaken, might have had the Babe Ruth Bat Relic uh, from Tier 1. A mess of things says, bad correlation card bubble and canceled season. Yeah, that definitely is a bad correlation. Uh, the hobby, everything's so far up in prices right now that if you have a canceled season, that could send the hobby into a bit of a decline. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I really hope that we have baseball coming our way. We'll see, but that is a good point. All right, so here we go. What can we find for uh, David? You, in spot number seven, have a... It's another Yankee. So here we go. Yankees abound in this case so far. It's numbered three of ten. So a nice low number. I'm already seeing some calls coming in. I see Jeter and Stanton and Judge. It is going to be, that's going to be Glaber Day. Glaber Torres, nice red ink auto. Three of ten. One of my favorites. If you had to ask me who my favorite Yankee is right now, this second, I would say Glaber. Love that card right there. Three of ten. And uh, I know a lot of Cubs fans, every time you see Glaber in a Yankees uniform, you probably just kind of, uh, I don't know, wince and kind of think, dang, I wish we could have found somebody else to trade away for um, a roll to Chapman. But very nice one right there, Glaber. The Cubs weren't weren't having it. They were they were gonna get they were gonna get Chapman and they were going to have Glaber or nobody. Very, very nice right there. Glaber Torres for David. Congratulations on that one. Shane rooting for you there says yay David. Good hit for sure. All right, so what do we have next? <laughs> Jay says, where are all the John Jaha cards? None. You might have to get some 92 tops or 93 tops boxes to find any of those. I haven't seen it. I've never pulled a John Jaha autograph uh, or any, uh, maybe some base cards here and there. But Benjamin, you're up right now. Spot number eight. Annie says, you're my biggest fan. Thank you, Annie. I appreciate that. And Sacento says, David, you want to sell that Glaber? Well, here we go. Benjamin, let's see what we can find for you. Spot number eight of the box, it is going to be, let me get my next spacer to cover up our next card. Get that right there. Okay, so it is going to be a Cleveland Indian out of 25. I know I could pretty much tell who that's going to be already. It's all-star, most valuable player, Shane Bieber. So you might say, yeah, Shane Bieber, He, you know, he's not a big name. Yeah, not yet, but if you look at his numbers from last year, he had has really, really great strikeout numbers. Ace of the future right there, 5 of 25. Keep an eye on Shane Bieber. Um, and if you haven't snapped up some of his rookie cards yet for super cheap, I might do that if I were you. Shane Bieber, 5 of 25. Nice card right there for Benjamin in spot number 8. So we haven't had any only relics yet, which is nice. And those will be coming up very shortly. I do believe that the last card of each box is the relic only card. So... Hopefully it's a big one. We'll see what it is. Spot number nine coming your way next. It is for Brian. Brian was in here earlier. I assume he's still watching since his spot was coming up. Let's see what we can do for you, Brian. Kind of wish Heather was here right now because I'm getting a little bit low on my supplies and have to <laughs> go and run to the supply case to get some more top loaders. We have a... For Brian... Card number nine. It's a Philly. Let's see who it is. Uh, let's see. We had a Philly already. We had two Phillies already. We had Mike Schmidt and Steve Carlton. This one is out of 25. Noah calls Hoskins. RMM calls Harper. It's Hoskins or Harper. A lot of people... Well, it's got to be Hoskins out of those two because it's a right-handed batter. And that's who it is. Reese Hoskins, the darling of tops, 13 of 25. For Brian, nice uh, nice signature, by the way. Kind of really pops. Little kind of texture to the card. I don't know if you can see it, but that is kind of sunk down in there. A very nice looking signature. 13 of 25 for Brian. That leaves one more spot. And the last spot of box number two is we hit the halfway point in the break is going to Justin, spot number 20. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 20. I've got to get this one all protected for you, Brian. All right, so spot number 10. Let's get right to it. For Justin, you have yourself. This is going to be the relic. It is a Cub player, so I, 
I know you guys, um, some of you guys love the Cubs, some of you don't. I know Bobby Bleeds Blue would love this card. It's out of 10. It's a Cub hoping for a Hall of Famer. It is going to be Chris Bryant. So, so far, Emily with the call. Nice call. You you hit the nail on the head right there, Emily. Chris Bryant. Shira says, uh, Nico Horner. Chris Bryant, not a bad player. I was hoping for a Hall of Fame relic. Not too bad. I'm, he's one of the better players on the Cubs for Justin. But that one doesn't get my screamo meter up that much. Still a nice one. And that is the end of box number two. So we are two boxes in. We have two more boxes to go. We are at the official halfway point of this break. Let's see what we can find next for Dan T on the clock. Best of luck to you, Dan. Silent Collector is here with the $1.49 popcorn emoji. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Silent Collector. I hope you guys will check out Silent Collector's channel. All right, brand new box. Brand new chance at some more autos right now. Let's see what we can find for you. Squishy, thank you very much for the kind words. Says, love your videos. Keep up the content. I'll do my best to keep making a video every single day for you guys. All right, so let's see what we got now. Third box. There's the pack, the one single quote-unquote pack. It's more of a jewel case. Get this out of there. I don't want to, like, shake it around and, you know, damage the corners. Got to get out of there carefully. All right, so Tyson's calling a Gerard Dyson. <laughs> I, I hope not. Dan is probably thinking it better not be a Gerard Dyson. All right, so let's get this started up. Get the back without revealing what we have because i like to be surprised as much as you guys still need nolan ryan says equine yet no 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 one just yet i know that shane has been pleading with me to find a nolan ryan we'll see if it comes up in his spot cardboard carolina with a dollar sign emoji thank you very much cardboard i really appreciate that all right dan let's see what we got for you spot number one is going to be a it's good. Oh, boy. For a second there, I thought maybe a Nolan Ryan. What do you guys think, based off of the way he's pitching right there? It looks like it could be. Heck, <laughs> someone just asked for a Nolan Ryan. And we have Nolan Ryan right there. Very nice Nolan Ryan on card auto. The Ryan Express does make an appearance in our case. In spot number 21, the first spot of the third box, Nolan Ryan, 3 of 25. A big hit right there for Dan T. Congratulations, Dan, on that one. Daddy Daughter says, that is so nice. So Santa says, choo-choo for the Ryan Express. Bearded Collector with the dollar sign emoji. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Somebody actually just spoke this into happening right there. Said we need to find a nice Nolan Ryan card. And there he is, Nolan Ryan on card auto. For Dan T. Leads off the box right there. The RMM says double their entry fee right there with that one. Alluding to the fact that it might be a $500 card. Very nice. Nolan Ryan for Dan. Leads things off in box number three of four. We'll get this one taken care of for you, Dan. And I appreciate your support. A mess of things says, hold on, scroll by, I have to scroll on back up. How much for that cover sheet? I can pretend. <laughs> you mean this, one of these bad boys right here, Diamond Icons. I was probably just going to throw this away. I'll go put it on your stack uh, if you want one in the holding room and get that sent out with your stuff. Hopefully this week I'll get your stuff sent out. Uh, Patreon never reminds me of your stuff because you're not technically on a tier. It's kind of weird how they did that. Um... I think your your support levels for a sold out tier. And there is uh, FDC Family Card says, there he is. That's right, FDC Family Cards. Nolan Ryan makes his appearance. I appreciate that, FDC. I hope you guys will check him out. And the last rep says, now we need John Wathen. I sure hope not. That would be pretty funny. It would have to be with uh, like George Brett uh, on the card as well. Maybe John Wathen like, sitting in the background in the dugout somewhere. And Wave of Cards says, hi, Eric. Great break. Love this product. Bummed I missed signups. You pulled DeGrom one of one auto pass for me in last year's break, and it's still one of my favorite cards, Jason C. Jason, thank you very much. We have a card. I hope you guys will check him out 
And the Jacob DeGrom was a great card. We haven't had a one of one yet. Speaking of your DeGrom one of one, hopefully that can change very soon. And J Bob and Son says, Jabs, can you send me a text? Or can you send me my next Patreon an empty diamond icons box? I think they look cool. J Bob and Sons. Um, yeah, I can do that. I'll put one aside for you. I guess I'm going to have to put your name on the box with the little, um, I'm not going to write on the box, but put a little note there. J Bob and Sons. Thank you very much for your support, J-Bob. I really appreciate that. Uh, they are pretty cool, and I, um, I've i had them on display in my office for last year for all this time. Hope you guys will check out J-Bob, Wave of Cards, and also Last Drafts Baseball. Thank you for the support, guys. All right, so next up, spot number two, BCBA says, trying to explain all this to my father-in-law, BCBA. Thank you very much for watching, and shout-out to your father-in-law. Thanks for watching. Baseball card opening. It's like, uh, you know, since there's no baseball, this is the next best thing we could do for you. Randy's up right now. Spot number two. Hoping for a nice signature next. Let's see what you have. All right. So you have another. Uh, it's a one of five red auto. Uh, we've had a few of these one of fives. And we have a nice... Is that Yankee pinstripe? It is a Yankee. It's another Tanaka, our second Tanaka hit. The first one was the Relic. This one is a one of five um, Yankee patch right there. Masahiro Tanaka is our next hit. Squishy says that's a lucky hit right there. Okay, nice one. And that one is for Randy in spot number 22. Randy, thank you very much. And Project FAT says, is 2020 Panini Prison Baseball going to be a must-buy? Project FAT. Uh, we'll see about that. I know Prison was supposed to come out very soon. Hey, Mighty Goat is here. Thank you, Mighty Goat, for checking us out. I hope you guys will check out Mighty Goat and his 456,000 subscribers. Got a great channel over there. Very nice Tanaka for Randy. like that card a lot. All right, so we'll get this one top loaded up for you. And um, next up, Trevor. Trevor with his fingers crossed, hoping for a big-time hit. Let's see what we can find for you. Speaking of prison, by the way, um, that now is due out Friday. It was supposed to come out tomorrow, and I was going to do a break on it, but my distributor um, told me that uh, it is delayed now until Friday and coming with uh, all the other stuff on Friday, the top's finest. And... Uh, I think Big League also may be delayed till Monday now. So I guess with all the stuff going on in the world, we have uh, some civil unrest. We have we have a pandemic going around. And we have, um, you know, some of these companies working at less than full capacity. It is causing some releases to be delayed a little bit. So, Trevor, you're up right now. Let's see if we can vibe for you. Mighty Goat says, dude, Jabs, I pulled an out of 99 green Jason Dominguez auto the other day out of Bowman. I'm still in shock. That's a huge hit right there. Hopefully you got it on video. Um we were chasing after Dominguez autos uh, all like, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago looking for all his stuff. And um, we did find some autos, but uh, the green Dominguez auto is a great one for sure. I hope you guys will check out Mighty Goat's channel and see that pull and check out his reaction. We have another Astro coming up for Trevor. It's out of 25. So I can only hope for your sake, Trevor, it's a Jordan Alvarez. Let's see who it is. It is. Is a Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez. If you're going to get an Astro Auto, it better be an Alvarez. I mean, Altuve's, um, you know, everyone else's name is kind of sullied. But Alvarez is your National League Rookie of the Year. And um, a nice player right there. Not really kind of sullied by the Astros cheating scandal. As he wasn't on the team in 2017 with all that trash can banging. 6 of 25. Jordan Alvarez. Nice hit right there for Trevor. So Trevor, congrats on that one. Mario says, is Bo Bichette in this set? We will see about that. We haven't pulled a Bichette yet, but we've now pulled two Jordan Alvarez cards. And a Gavin Lux and two Luis Robert cards as well. So, fingers crossed that we do find uh, Boba Shad. We'll see. Next up, Ben, you are in spot number 24 for Ben. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number four. Hope it's a good one. We are going to have a... Out of 10, it's a Cubs player, so I'm hoping for Andre Dawson, maybe Ryan Sandberg. We'll see. Those are my top two picks. It is going to be Rhino, Ryan Sandberg autograph. Very nice. Hall of Famer, Ryan Sandberg in spot number four for Ben. So a good hit right there. Our second 
Hall of Famer from this box. We had Nolan Ryan leading things off. And now we have Ryan Sandberg. Uh, batting cleanup in this box. The fourth spot. A very nice hit right there. I love Ryan Sandberg. Used to be my favorite player for about a year, though, as I kind of circled through my different favorite players. It was Ryan Sandberg for a year. And then after Sandberg, I moved on to Calrican Jr. for a few years as my favorite number one player in the game. Used to have a Ryan Sandberg binder that I kept all of his cards in. Five of ten. Ryan Sandberg. Nice rhino right there. Uh, LF says that silver on black ink is pretty sweet. There's the back of the card. Very, very nice. Ryan Sandberg for Ben. Nice hit right there. I know that Triple B is probably winning that one. Uh, says, Ben, if you'd like to trade, Triple B has a Walker Bueller out of 25 that he would be interested in switching up for your Rhino. So, Ben, thank you very much. Next spot up, we have, here he is, Shane how about your luck, man? You were so close to the Rhino, or not the Rhino, the um, Nolan Ryan. He was asking for Nolan Ryan. I saw a couple of his comments. You had the box with the Nolan Ryan in it, but just missed it. So let's hope you have a nice hit right here, nonetheless. Uh, all right, so let's get right to it and see who you got. You are going to have a... I hope it's a good one. So I go ahead and have to check something out right there it's out of 10 it's a cleveland indian hit out of 10 and it is gonna be number 11 jose ramirez very nice one right there jose ramirez looks like he has his 11 in the signature 10 of 10 i am a big fan of how most of the relics you get three relics per case i like how the relics have autos with them nice patch relics what we're seeing in all these boxes, only one of the cards are just a relic by themselves. Nice Jose Ramirez right there. 10 of 10, nice looking card. No authentication sticker on this one, but still a nice looking card nonetheless for Shane. So Shane, thank you very much. And now D Mill says some one of one hype is coming up. We will see about that. I know that Mary would definitely like some one of one hype. I do see a... A uh, nice gold or yellow background on the card. So let's see what we have here. A gold-looking card coming up. Hopefully it's a one-of-one. -one. You never know. Uh, Trotter Acuna would be nice, Emily. We will see what we have. Mary is in here. We saw her earlier. Ben says, no way. Love the Cubby. So Ben keeping his Ryan Sandberg. Glad that you are happy with that one. All right, let's see. I'm interested to see what the numbering is. Uh, Baseball Card Chronicle says gold is one of one. Let's see if we have a one of one for Mary. That would be pretty nice. Hopefully it's a great player. It's a Cardinal. So could we have a Hall of Fame one of one? I'm hoping Cardinal Hall of Famers. So what, Bob Gibson, Ozzy Smith, Lou Brock. What do you guys think? Stand the Man Muse will be nice. It would have to be a cut auto if it was Stand the Man. Uh, Wayne's calling Wizard of Oz. Let's see who it is. It is a one of one Lou Brock Hall of Famer. Lou Brock, very, very nice. He was the stolen base king before Ricky Henderson knocked him off that pedestal in 1991, I think. Very nice Lou Brock card right there. One of one. So our first one of one of the night, and it goes to Mary. So Mary, congratulations. If we're going to get a one of one, let's go ahead and make it a Hall of Famer in Lou Brock. Very, very nice. Of course, with one of ones, you can never really put a price tag on it. Charles, Charles asking how much that card will be worth. What you, what I would suggest if you ever do come across a one of one is, you know, think what you would want for it. Uh, I don't know, like say you pull one of one, you want $500 for it. List it for like eight or $900 on eBay, best offer. And then maybe someone will put an offer in for 500 bucks or so. Um, that's the way I would do it. Tyler's calling 500 to $1,000 on this one of one Lou Brock. Nice card right there. Mary, congratulations. And thank you for your support earlier. I appreciate your super chat and your support on Patreon. Very, very nice one. That's right. Marvelosity always price one of ones high. Um, because you are the, you control the market. You're the only one with the card. Um, so price high, best offer. See what you get. You're probably going to get an offer uh, of some sort. Hopefully, somebody makes a decent offer. Next up, Tony, spot number 27 of 40. And uh, let's see what we have for you in spot number 7 of the box. Here we go. Let's get this next card covered up. 
looking for Hall of Famers or major stars or major rookies. And Daddy Dar says, if you want into the breaks in the future, here's my Patreon link. If you'd like to check it out, you can go ahead and click Daddy Daughter's link there. Also, the link is in the description. So let's see what we have for Tony in spot number 27. It's going to be out of 10. It's going to be a Nationals. It looks like a batter, but that's no batter. That is Max Scherzer out of 10. 9 of 10. Uh, I don't know what is up with Tops using pitchers batting. They did it in Tier 1 with Josh Hader. We pulled like three Josh Hader autographs, and he was like up to up at the plate, and Josh Hader's a closer. He never bats. Max Scherzer does bat, um, and he's laying down the bunt right there. Max Scherzer, nice card right there. 9 of 10 for Tony. So congratulations on that one. Charles L. with a $5 Super Chat. Charles, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Charles' channel. Stock says, the lost art of bunting. <laughs> Why does Tops do that? So dumb, says Andrew, putting um, the pitchers bunting instead of pitching. And Kelly says, Scherzer stock is up right now. Yep, that is, that, that's true. Scherzer is a great player. And um, if you haven't picked up his rookie card from 2008, Tops Update, you might want to go out and grab a couple of those. Those are definitely going up and up as well. Raymond is up next. He's got spot number 28. Let's see if we can find a nice Trout coming up here. I'd like to find a Mike Trout tonight or a Ken Griffey Jr. or something like that. Uh, Todd is here now. Todd, never too late. You can always go back and watch the replay later if you missed the first two and a half boxes. All right, here we go. Let's see what we have for you in spot number 28, the eighth spot of this box. It is for Raymond. Raymond has, out of 25, it looks like, I can't tell who it is. It may be, oh, I think I know who that is in the Phillies uniform. You guys know this guy. Also played for the White Sox, longtime Cleveland Indian, Mr. 500 Club, Jim Tomey. Very nice, Jim Tomey, 25 of 25 autograph right there. And also played for the White Sox for a little while. Jim Tomey, 25 of 25. Jim Tomey, I love Jim Tomey. Uh, one of my favorite players um, when he was playing the game. Used to love him. And um, he was one of those guys that I thought, I used to love how he would just point the bat out of the pitcher when he would set up in the box. I, I thought that was so cool. He would just stand with the bat, just point it out of the pitcher up in the air. And it was really cool how he set up. So nice Jim Tomey right there for Raymond. Thank you very much, Raymond. Next spot up, spot number nine in the box is for Richard. Richard Gore. Let's see what we can find for you. Spot number nine. 600 home run matter. Oh, that's right, Daddy Daughter. He's hit over 600. <clears throat> All right, so let's see what we can find in our very next spot. We got one card left, so they're not giving us that 11th card that I thought we might get, as we saw in Tier 1. Every, like, I don't know, every other box or so had an extra card. Richard, spot number 9. Let's see who it is. You have yourself a New York Met player out of 10. So what do you guys think out of 10? Todd says 604. So you just got there. That is going to... It's not going to be Trout. It's a New York Mets player. That's going to... Oh, I know who this guy is. Who's got the call first? That is... Star of the Simpsons episode, where they had all the baseball players out there with the uh, Albuquerque isotopes, that's Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry, 8 of 10. Nice low-numbered Daryl card right there. The straw man, says Sacento. Daryl Strawberry, one of the good players in my era growing up. Used to hear a lot about Daryl Strawberry as a Pirates fan, especially uh, like 1988, the Mets beat out the Pirates. Pirates finished second place, and Daryl Strawberry was always a thorn in the Pirates' side. Eight of ten. Daryl had a nice long career, even after he kind of, you know, had a little bit of a downturn in terms of his production, still was able to latch on with teams like the Dodgers and the Yankees and still be productive there. Nice Daryl. Like that one a lot for... Richard, and next up, our final spot in box number three. This one is for Donald. Best of luck to you, Donald. And then we only have one more box left after this bad boy. All right, so let's see what we have. It's going to be the Relic, and it is going to be... It's an Angel, and it's out of five. So right off the bat, it looks like a left-handed batter, so it's not going to be Mike Trout. It's going to be the second... Best value of uh, second best angel in terms of value, though, that's going to be Shohei Otani, I do believe. 
Show Hey o it's a well, it's a Show Hey Otani quad diamond relic. Very nice. You got the diamond card right there. Show Hey Otani quad diamond. Donald. Donald's probably like, dang it all the heck, I got a relic. I'm going to get a relic that's not worth that much because it doesn't have an autograph on there. But you have a Shohei Otani diamond studded uh, four diamonds right there. I'll show you the back. It'll say that there are actual diamonds on the back of the card. Four of five. Now that's a hit, says Triple B. Check out the back. It says, this card contains genuine diamonds. <laughs> Squishy Lister says, I am going to die. <laughs> Hell of says, chat meltdown. Let's show you the card one more time. Four diamonds. I think when I broke diamond icons last year, we pulled two diamond cards, but I do not think that we had four diamonds um, put into them. I think <clears throat> it might have just been one. Very nice Shohei Otani. Let's take a look at the diamonds one more time for you. It's only out of five, so it's really tough to know what this one would go for um, because there's not that many of them, and this, this release just came out on, I think, Friday. So what's that worth? It's really tough to call. And Devlin says, modern engagement ring right there. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine like um, Donald pulls this card and is like, you know what? Instead of giving my girlfriend an engagement ring, I'm just going to give her the Shohei Otani diamond card right there. Uh, very, very nice. And Todd says, I think you're right, Jazz, because I was there last year. Yeah, I think it was like a Cal Ripken diamond card and a Roberto Clemente diamond card, if I'm not mistaken, Todd, last year that we pulled. We got four of them right there. I saw somebody quote $1,500 on this card right there. Very, very nice. Donald, congratulations on the Shohei Otani diamond card with actual diamonds in the card. A very, very nice hit right there for Donald. Donald said, I'll give it to my son when he is born in August. Donald, what a nice story right there. Donald is expecting a son, and he's going to give it to his son as a present uh, for his literal birthday. So congratulations on the expected arrival of your son. Um, that's awesome. Um, very, very happy for you, man. And that is quite a present, and that's pretty cool. You can show your son when he gets old enough when he has that card. Uh, hopefully, you ha keep it in a nice, safe place until he understands the value so he doesn't um, tear it up like we used to when we were little kids. But a nice Shohei Otani. You guys can watch it pulled, uh, uh, pulled and pulled again. Donald says, thanks all my first break. So, Donald, a big winner right there with the quad diamond. And this is our last box of the break so there's only four boxes per case ten thousand dollars a case and um twenty five hundred dollars a box one pack per box here we go tommy's got the very first card let's see um when it says eric i have three young autistic sons and that otani diamond card made his jaw drop <laughs> look at it yeah if you're a kid you might think what diamonds can be in cards like actual diamonds I'll tell you what, I know that a lot of our jaws dropped when we saw that Otani card. Um, very, very awesome looking card. And uh, shout out to your sons for watching. Thanks, guys, for joining us tonight. Now Tommy's Breaks is up right now. Tommy, let's go. Let's see what we can find for you, our final box of the night. If you haven't hit the subscribe button for my channel yet, I hope that you will do so. I uh, would love to have you back for more of these higher-end breaks and all kind of breaks. We have lots of stuff coming up for you coming into this weekend and next week. We've got all these new releases coming out now that the pandemic is, so the economy is kind of coming back to life a little bit. They're starting to uh, ship stuff out again and release stuff. We've got Top's Finest coming our way. We've got Big League. Uh, we've got Pro Debut, and we've got Prism all coming out this weekend tommy's break says let's go let's pull some fire tommy i hope so and john von cohorn with a dollar 50 super chat thank you john i really appreciate that i hope you guys will check out both of their channels and last rap says you know tawny with the diamonds on ebay has two days left at the auction it's already at 157 us dollars i think it will go for well over a thousand dollars for sure what happens with those auctions is you get those snipers uh, quote unquote uh, auction snipers i do i do it probably a lot of you guys do it too with like three seconds left you go you put your absolute max bid in there and uh, that could absolutely end up being around a thousand dollar card i agree wave of cards says first card luck for tommy wave of cards thank you very much and last drafts thank you very much as well i really appreciate the support guys i hope you guys will check them out and there's donald says i was pretty worried about being last too you probably 
were a little bit worried about that as, um, you know, they were nice relics earlier, but um, Chris Bryant relic is a nice one, but not nearly <laughs> as good as a quad diamond for sure. Keep the Hobby Live says, what's up, my dude? As always, a joy to watch. Keep the Hobby Live. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Keep the Hobby Alive. And Matthew Stevens says, okay, if you're not going to pull a Julio Franco or Ruben Sierra, I'll settle for a Dean Palmer. Matthew, thank you very much. Um, we'll see. I hope that that's not ever, <clears throat> in this break at least, a... Um, our choices. If we're going to pull a Texas Ranger, I would like to get a Nolan Ryan. If not him, how about an Yvonne Rodriguez? And if not him, let's go with an Adrian Beltre. I'd rather choose between those three. And John says, please send your number one fan, Jack, an empty birthday box. John Von Cohorn, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Now, what do you mean by an empty birthday box? Let me know and uh, send me an email, John, because I think I was scrolling through my email. I get like, I mean, if you've seen my um, giveaways, sometimes you see my email at the top. It says like 60,000 unread emails. I get sometimes hundreds of emails a day. Um, send me another email. I'll check out and uh, kind of explain what you mean there. And I will um, read that and make a little note. So here we go. Dirk Remington says, some awesome pulls coming out. Keep them going. Here we go. Card number one. Let's get this started. 2011 Tops update will be next week on Thursday. We have a jumbo box that we will be doing. So let's see what we have now in our very first spot for Tommy. Tommy's breaks, you've been waiting patiently as I've been talking, so let's see who you got. You have an out of 10, and you have a Seattle Mariner. It's a Seattle, based off of the way his helmet is facing, it is a lefty. So, you could have a Ken Griffey Jr. or an Ichiro coming up. I sure hope so. I hope it's not like, uh, I don't know, Malik Smith or whoever some... Less known <laughs> um, Mariner is going to be. Let's see. Could it be a future Hall of Famer Ichiro or a Ken Griffey Jr.? It's out of 10, 4 of 10. It is going to be Ichiro laying down a bunt right there. Ichiro will be a first ballot Hall of Famer five years from now when he is eligible. Ichiro, the all-time hit king in terms of professional sports. He eclipsed Pete Rose's mark when you add in his Japanese League stats. Ichiro is our first card up, 4 of 10. And by the way, guys, I don't know if any of you noticed, those of you with great, great eyes, but when I was taking this out of the box, look how thick that last card is. It looks like we have a nice booklet in the very last spot of the break. So Ichiro, very nice one right there. Congratulations, Tommy, on a beautiful Ichiro card right there. All right, so we'll get that one taken care of for you. And... Next card up, spot number two is for Justin. Best of luck to you, Justin. All right, let's see what we can find for Justin in spot number two of Diamond Icons. Dad and Zach's pack breaks. Dad and Zach's pack says, love the channel. We're at 66 subscribers. Hoping for 100 soon. If you guys would like to help his channel out, uh, Heather and Daddy Daughter will track the link down for you guys. Make sure you get on over there and help him reach... 100 subscribers. We got 1,700 folks right now. So let's see who can be number 100 on Zach. Uh, there it is. Dad and Zach. Heather's got the link. Good job, Heather. Make sure you check them out. Daddy Daughter also. A close second. Justin, here we go. We have a... It's going to be a red card. And it is going to be... A, okay, Chris Bryant is one. And you have another player as well. Triple B says, my heart will be pounding if I had the last spot. What about this one? Chris Bryant with who? Is it going to be a Brizzo card? Brizzo, Chris Bryant, and Anthony Rizzo. That would be nice for Justin. Let's see. Justin has NC baseball cards. I appreciate that. It is a dual relic of Chris Bryant and Ryan Sandberg. Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg. Very, very sweet. I, I definitely love that more than the Brizzo relic. Very nice hit right there. Ryan Sandberg and Chris Bryant out of five. A nice low-numbered hit right there for all of you Cubs fans. Very, very nice. We have a card said that is not bad at all. Yeah, not bad whatsoever. Very, very nice. Ryan, Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg and Chris Bryant, arguably the best player on the Cubs right now. I know a lot of you Cubs fans would argue Javi Baez or Anthony uh, Rizzo, but he is a solid player for sure. 
Very nice card right there for Justin. Justin, congratulations on that one. Next up, Zachary is on the clock, spot number three. Let's see. And we have the booklet. It looks like a booklet at the end. Blake, thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. What could we have in that booklet at the very end of this box? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Justin says, you're the man, Jav. Justin, I know you're probably nervous about that all day. But you have have a nice, successful hit there, in my opinion. Duel, Sandberg, and Bryant out of five. Relic Auto. Very nice hit indeed. All right. So let's see what we have next for Zachary D. So you have yourself a it's out of 10, and it is going to be actually 10 of 25. Okay. It's going to be a San Diego Padre, current Padre. We know it's not Hosmer because he's batting right-handed, so could this be a Fernando Tatis Jr.? It could be. Could it be? It is Fernando Tatis Jr., 10 of 25. A very nice Fernando Tatis Jr. Always glad to have his, his autographs come out of anything that I pull. A very, very nice one right there. Samuel called, called that one, he says. Nice on-card auto. Very nice one right there. I know some of you guys are... <laughs> Todd says, hurry up, get to the booklet. Some of you guys are probably looking over the checklist of diamond icons that I posted on Patreon, looking at the booklet, thinking, who could the booklet possibly be? Um, we'll find that out soon. Zachary with a very, very nice hit right there. Tatis Jr. All right, so next up, we have spot number four. For Andrew A, let's see what we have for you in spot number four. And we have a redemption in spot number four, which could totally change the whole complexion of the box. Andrew is going to get this redemption, whoever it may be. But if there are 11 cards now, like I laid out at the beginning of the video, that spot number 11, that booklet, could be it would be randomed off between the 10 participants in the this box so here we go and there could be 12 cards in there sometimes that could happen because it still looks like a pretty tall stack of cards right there all right so andrew you have a redemption of diamond icons autograph card it is going to be a beau bichette so beau bichette does make his appearance beau bichette for andrew congratulations on that one nice uh, Bo Bichette right there. Salty, we do have a P.O. Box. It is P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA, 15676. Very, very nice. OMG wanted that Bo Bichette. <laughs> well, he's going to have to talk to Andrew. Maybe they can work out a trade or a deal. Very nice one right there. And Carl is up next, spot number five. Fifth card out of the box. Let's see what we can find for Carl. Best of luck to you. Spot number five. It is going to be, in spot number five, a out of five. That red is always out of five. It's a St. Louis Cardinal. It is going to be Jack Flaherty out of five. One of five. And Jack Flaherty, if you guys have not been around baseball for a little while, maybe just getting back into the game, Jack Flaherty had a almost historic second half last year and kind of really put his name uh, in the discussion of the top five National League starters in the National League, obviously. Very nice season last year for him. Jack Flaherty, one of five. His rookie card in 2018, top series one, has made that product attractive again. Like the Jack Flaherty rookie cards, and that's a good one right there. Nice big piece of the Cardinal um, logo right there on that patch for Carl K. So congratulations on Jack Flaherty, part of... Fred Bird, I guess, is the name of the Cardinals' um, mascot, if I'm not mistaken. Carl, congrats on your piece of Fred Bird. Next spot up, we have spot number six. It's Raymond. I think Raymond was in here earlier, and he is back <clears throat> once more. I don't. I can't remember what Raymond had his in his first spot. Uh, there it is. He had Jim Tomey earlier, so he had a Hall of Famer earlier. Let's see if he can do it again. <laughs> uh, he already had um, Tomey, and now let's see if 
he has another Hall of Fame to go with him. It is going to be... Well, you do have another Hall of Famer. Now the question is, is there going to be more than one Hall of Famer on the card? We have Warren Spawn right there. Could he have a dual Hall of Fame autograph? It's a cut auto of Warren Spawn out of four. Very nice. Love that one a lot. Take a look at that one. For those of you that don't know, cut autos are just the same as relics. What they do is for people that passed away, Warren Spawn passed away. Um, uh, I can't remember what exactly year Warren Spawn passed away. He was a great pitcher in the 50s and 60s. You might remember him. He passed away in 2003. I just Googled it off to my left right there. So for guys that passed away, obviously they can't sign cards anymore. So what they do is they find something that they did sign while they're alive and they acquire the card and then they cut it and insert it just like they would a relic. Really, really cool. Cut auto. That's what we mean when we say cut auto of Warren Spawn. So very nice one. Ray, you have back-to-back -back Hall of Famers, Warren Spawn, and also uh, Jim Tomey. So a nice break for Ray. And Packrat says, if you get the Babe Ruth booklet, will you turn the camera around so we can see your reaction? Too bad Heather's not here to, to um, get my reaction, just in case we do have the Babe Ruth booklet. Warren Spawn, definitely a legend. Hall of Famer Warren Spawn. Raymond, congratulations. Congratulations on that great hit right there. Next up, Heather's working remotely tonight. I can see it's out of 25. This one's for Adam. Let's see what we have for you. The big question is, is there going to be 10 or 11 cards because of that redemption card? Sometimes they do toss you an extra card when there is a redemption because they don't want you to be mad at them, I guess. Adam, let's see what we have. Spot number seven. It's numbered out of 25. It is an Astro. Unfortunately, it is not going to be a Jordan Alvarez. It is going to be Jose Altuve. So former MVP Jose Altuve. We're going to get a lot of uh, anger in the chat right now as everybody except for um, Astros fans Pretty much uh, dislike Jose Altuve after the whole cheating scandal. A lot of people feel like they were robbed, especially Dodgers and Yankees fans, and um, with good reason. So Jose Altuve, it's number 25. Nice looking card right there. That one goes to um, Adam. So we'll see what Altuve does when baseball gets back. All eyes are going to be out on Altuve and see if he can still be a 300-plus hitter uh, regularly in the big leagues without any kind of alleged assistant silent collector with a, a snorty mad face emoji thank you very much silent collector and sky high breaks says great stream thanks jav sky high breaks thank you very much i really appreciate that there's daddy daughter with the link for silent collector if you'd like to check his channel out and let's see todd says we have a cap anson booklet so todd thinks that he's got the call on the booklet cap anson would be insane um I don't know how you would figure that out so quickly just from seeing the corner of it, but we will see. Hall of Famer Cap Anson, maybe. Maybe it's Babe Ruth. We don't know. We have a nice big booklet right there at the bottom of the stack. Eric Plunk book. Rennie Perez says Yankees cheated also, people. Rennie Perez. I'll tell you what, Rennie, a lot of teams have definitely have cheated. It's just if they've gotten caught or not. I'm sure all teams have cheated in some way. Um... That's part of the game. I mean, you're I, you're allowed to steal signs from second base if you have a runner out there. It's looked down upon, but um, if you're cheating with cameras or technology, that's a whole different animal for sure. So here we go. Let's see what we have next. Only a couple spots left. Austin, spot number 38 of 40. Let's see what we can find now. And uh, Chip is probably really breathing heavy right now, hoping there's not 11 cards in this. Austin, let's see. You have a... It's a Yankee. We have another Yankee. Who could this one be? It's out of 25. Lots of Yankees in this case. Uh, we see Judge. We already had A-Rod. It is going to be for Austin out of 25. 23 to 25. I wish it was Mickey Mantle. Nice Mickey Mantle cut auto. It's going to be... How about a Donnie Baseball? Don Mattingly! 23 of 25. FDC looks like he may have may have had the card uh, called first. Very, very nice. There's a lot of chats scrolling on by. Almost 2,000 people in here right now. So sorry if I didn't see it and you called it first. But very nice. Don Mattingly, 23 of 25. 
I really like Don Mattingly, and I think that he should be in the Hall of Fame for sure. Very, very beautiful card right there. So only two away from our nice big booklet to conclude the break. And uh, that's another great point. Mantle can't be in tops because Panini has his rights. Very, very good point there. I sometimes forget that when we do these high-end breaks and people mention Mantle. It just seems wrong that he's not in um, Tops products. Donald, let's see. Now, Donald is back for one more. Now, if you remember back to, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago, Donald got a Shohei Otani diamond studded, a quad diamond card, literally four diamonds in the card of Shohei Otani. Probably about a thousand dollar card in his first break. Said he's going to give it to his son, which he's expecting uh, soon, which is very, very awesome. Donald, let's see if you can follow that up with another huge hit. So here we go. Two cards left, and then we'll call tonight. We have a... It's going to be... It looks like a Walker Bueller out of 10. One of 10 Walker Bueller. There it is, Walker Bueller. Nice looking card. Walker Bueller, one of 10. That's our second Walker Bueller that we have pulled uh, tonight. So... Sacento's calling a cleat relic. We'll see about that. It's, could it be a booklet? Could it be a cleat relic? Very last card of the break is for Chip. It looks like we don't have any other cards left. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. We have almost 2,000 live viewers right now. Looks like um, 1,952 folks watching. I really appreciate that. We will be doing 2011 Tops Updated Jumbo Box next Thursday. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Hopefully, you can check us out again for that. It's going to be a crazy live stream going after the Mike Trout Cognac rookie cards. Any Mike Trout rookie card will do, but it's a jumbo box. So we have 500 2011 Tops uh, cards coming out of that pack, or out of that box pack fresh. And Samuel says the Yankees had one player cheat for one game. Checked out the video review. Please stop comparing that to the Astros. So Samuel defending his Yankees. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So here we go. Silent Crater says, Jabs, pick a prospect. Guerrero, Alvarez, or Tatis. I'm, I don't really consider Tatis a prospect anymore. I consider him a star. Uh, same thing with Guerrero and uh, Alvarez. All those guys are stars. But if you're talking about young players, I'm taking Tatis out of those three. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you can let us know. Uh, what do you think, Son Collector? I go Tatis one. Um, I'm probably going to go Alvarez. No, I'll go with Guerrero two, Alvarez three right now. They're all really close. Um, love all those guys. But here we go. Last one. Chip, it's for you. The very last spot. It is going to be. It is not a book. So when we saw this big, thick card, I thought maybe it was a book. Baseball Brady says, nice break. What do you think was the best card? For me, my personal favorite was probably the Nolan Ryan autograph that we pulled uh, for Dan T. It was probably my favorite one. But also the Shohei Otani quad relic. I can't forget that one. Um, a toss-up between those two. My favorite signature was probably the Ryan. Favorite card um, value-wise was the Otani. Thank you very much, Baseball Brady, for the support. Thank you, everybody, for the support. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Classic Pack Breaks here says, enjoy the Diamond Icons. Thank you. Uh, thanks for all your help along the way, Eric. Lots of fun. Classic Pack Breaks, thank you very much. Congrats on getting over 1,000 subscribers. I hope you guys will check out Classic Pack Breaks. They do a lot of great work as well. Uh, Daddy Daughter's got the link for Classic Pack Breaks. As we head on out here, another Super Chat pops up. It says, uh, Stevens Card says, Thanks for showing us these, Eric. My next sale is Thursday at 6 Eastern, and everyone is invited. Stevens Cards. Thank you very much. So make sure that you subscribe to Stevens Cards. Check out their sale at 6 Eastern. Sometimes you can find some really good stuff for really good prices during some of these YouTube sales. Uh, much cheaper than uh, eBay. So let's see what it is. It is going to be a Boston Red Sox. I can see the B on the chest right there. It is go or the red. It is going to be J.D. Martinez right there. So the question is now, is it going to be a J.D. Martinez? <laughs> Schilling's bloody sock would be interesting. Is it going to be a cleat? Is it going to be a piece of his jersey? Is it going to be a batting glove? And I see another super chat on the way out there. Was it New Future Magazine? I saw Heather put it up there. I uh, got to scroll up and make sure I didn't miss New Future Magazine. Uh, if I missed it, sorry, it's going really fast right now. Make sure you guys check out New Future Magazine. So many chats popping up all at once here. 
All right, so let's see what we have. There he is. New Future says, love the Otani pool earlier. Before you finish up, think we could get a few more to our channel. Would love to get 75 new subscribers tonight. New Future Magazine. Heather just put the link in the chat if you'd like to check out New Future Magazine and help them out. So let's see what this one is. I'm hoping it's a really cool relic for Chip. And uh, let's see. David Eastling says, Diamond Icons Box War next 10,000 <laughs> viewer live stream. That would be pretty crazy. I don't even know how... I don't even know how I'd handle that. 10,000 live viewers would be pretty crazy. Uh, we got almost 2,000 right now. David, thank you very much for the support. And here we go. Last one. It is going to be a J.D. Martinez relic of what is that material? So my first instinct is maybe a batting glove. FDC family cards with a thumbs up emoji right there. Or could it be a piece of the shoe? Um the spike. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. We'll see if it says anything on the back. ABC's Need123 says, Hi, Eric. My stream can't keep up with your icons break, so I figured I would donate and join in on the fun. Nice pull so far. Almost to 700 in my mantle giveaway. ABC's Need123. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the support. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you guys will check out ABC's Need123. And it's up to them. Once they get 700, they're giving away a Mickey Mantle card, which is really awesome. And I appreciate the support. FDC as well. Heather and Daddy Daughter are dropping your links in there right now. JD Martinez. So, shoe insole. Uh, you got his sweat, says Sonic. So let's check out the back of the card. Someone said jock strap. I sure hope not. You've just received a preeminent pieces relic card from Diamond Icons. That is the last one for Chip. So that's it. Nice little number on there. 10 of 10. I agree, Sams. Hope you guys like taking a look at this super high-end break of Topps Diamond Icons. There will be some more higher-end breaks coming your way. Panini's got some stuff. They've got Immaculate on the way. Um, they have also have National Treasures, which is just kind of like this. Silent Collector says, shout out Colorado Car Breaks. He's awesome. Thanks, dude. Silent Collector, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, make sure you check out Colorado Car Breaks. And also, uh, remember, we've got a lot of breaks coming up next week. We've got uh, Prism coming out. We've got Finest. We've got Pro Debut. I don't know if I'll do pre Pro Debut as a break. Maybe a preview video, and that's about it. Uh, we've got Big League. And we also have 2011 Topps Updated Jumbo Box a sealed factory sealed jumbo box go for Mike Trout's rookie card next Thursday. Not this Thursday, next Thursday. All that stuff will be going for sale on Patreon. If you're not a member on Patreon, you can check that out in the description and uh, get in on any of those. So Diamond Icons, that's it, everybody. Thank you very much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, again, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. We'd love to have you along for more of uh, these breaks. There's lots of stuff coming out now with this pandemic uh, kind of winding down a little bit. Uh, that they're able to get the stuff back on the shelves and back uh, sent out. Because for about two months there, there was no new releases whatsoever. So we have a nice backlog of stuff coming out now. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. Looks like we're not going to be live tomorrow just because uh, everything's been delayed till Friday. So I think I'll take tomorrow off. I'll also put a video up for you guys to check out. And then we'll have Throwback Thursday. Um, Friday, I'll probably uh, postpone Face Off Friday for all of our new releases. I'll probably do preview videos for you on that day. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. I hope you're enjoying your week. Uh, take care of yourselves, and I will see you all tomorrow. And again, live next live stream will be Friday with some of those new releases. So have a great rest of your evening. Good night, everybody.